excited to have you guys here um so yeah like you know it's a great day it's snowing here in montreal but it's really cool y'all anyway <laughs> Anyway, so today's topic is all about um, long distance relationship. A lot of people ask me, oh my god, how did you made it through a long distance relationship for more than three years and um, nine months before actually like getting married and stuff like that. Well, first of all, I don't think long distance relationship is for everybody. It's either you know yourself who you are and if you can deal with it because it's really hard. Second of all is knowing the person that you're going to be in the relationship with if it's worth it or not third of all you have to have patience and fourth you have to have an end goal you don't just date people to just date people you literally have to date somebody because you want to have an ending with the person so if the first few months is like uh you have some red sign and stuff like that you're like uh out out because the longer you stay there, the 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 harder it's gonna be for you to be out. But um, few tips that I that me and my husband would I think we're gonna redo this video maybe later on along the line. Get my husband to give his input into the whole long distance relationship thing. But number one thing that's really important is trust. Second of all, make time. Third of all, know that you know you in it to be in it. It's like we wanna. At, at the end, we want to be together. At the end, somebody is willing to move to the other side to stay with the other person. Like, um, marriage, you know, and moving and stuff like that. So, besides that, like I said, communication is really important. Communication. Like, me and my husband, um, every day, when we were dating, every day we talk. Like, actually, I never spent so much time with a human being like I spent with my husband. Ugh. And sometimes we just don't even know what to talk about. Like, but he's there. Like, he, he if you come to my house in the in the p.m. like around six p.m. and uh, my husband's back from work, or uh, if like he has to go to church and he has to come back from church, maybe like nine thirty, he's there on my Skype. Like, my laptop is always open. Um, yeah, like we always make time for each other. We make time for each other. We communicate like a lot. We talk. We talk. I talk a lot, so you know, we talk, 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 talk. Um. It's funny because my husband, I think, once a year, he maybe just stopped by twice or once. I didn't get to see him that, that often, physically, no. So it was really um, helpful. But me and my husband, we choose, we choose to be celibate before marriage, you know, to be intimate after marriage. So I think right now, I think that was really helpful. <laughs> when I think of it right now, it was actually really helpful because we cannot build that relationship into a different level, like, you know, instead of just like being physical all the time like it's not even that serious it's just, it's just not that serious you know so we choose to be celibate it really helped us i don't buy you everybody has their own story it's different for everybody but we chose to be celibate waiting for marriage before um you know being intimate so it cannot help a lot like i said i actually didn't go to canada that like i've been to canada twice before actually we got married so the first one was for a show i got my own place the second time to food was for a different show. I got my own place. Um, wasn't that serious. We just went to church together and stuff like that. It wasn't even that serious. Like, but when I see I'm in Canada, everybody's like, <laughs> it's not even that serious, you people. Like, I'm just here for business, okay? Well, to see him, but mainly for business. Um, because I, you know, just it's like my little um, it's like my my brother and his girlfriend. She literally asked me, oh, how we, did we made it through, you know, like with all the temptation and everything. But one thing we did was like not to be inside together all the time. Like we just like to be at open space, like, you know, somewhere open. You know, when you are open space, you, you don't do anything. What do you want to do? <laughs> so those are the little things that we did. And um, don't, don't, don't be in. You don't want to be intimate. Just don't do anything. <laughs> Tell the devil he's a liar. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that's one thing that really helped. Um, no distant relationship. It's all about really trust, though trust, and knowing who you are really dating. Cause if you don't know the person, you don't know anything. The story, you don't know the family, anything. The person might be married somewhere, having kids and everything. You don't know. You end up with the, somebody 
a husband that you don't even know that is somebody's husband <laughs> It's not my husband. I beg, just go and do your little research and be on Google or everything. I don't know who you will call. Call people, hey, this person, this person, because you, you don't know the person. I mean, the funny thing is, me and my husband, we actually like, whoosh, my hair is itching. Me and my husband, we actually like, we met like face to face before uh, him moving. So, and I knew his family. So it was actually easy. I mean, I was kind of scared, but it was actually, actually really easy knowing that side that, oh. I know his family and what else that's basically it about long distance relationship if you have all those little things and you have patience and you guys communicate and you have trust and uh, you guys get to see each other and make time for each other and like the end result like oh your end goal is to get married you don't need anything else but God but God first always pray if that's his will he will make it happen but if it's not it's not gonna happen don't force God hand he knows better than you think you know cuz I mean, there, I'm like, oh my God, I know what I want, I know what I want, whatever. But God is like, shorty, just chill. Like, I made you. I know what you need exactly because I know you. I just really know you really are. Like, chill. I'm going to give you something great. So I'm like, yeah, okay. In my list, da 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 da. Oh, no, it's not. But, well, God, thank you. Today, I'm just grateful because I'm like, um, no list, no nothing, no checking, checking. Oh my God, this guy has this, this guy has this. Ah, no, no, no. It's just trusting God, and I'm just grateful. Like, if you guys want me to do a video about actually being celibate, like celibacy and how, like, to actually like, like the little tips and little stuff that you can use to wait before marriage, before being intimate with your your mates or whatever. I'll do that. Also, like, it's not every guy that would just be like, oh, yeah, I want to wait. But if the person loves you and the person wants to wait, that's a really good thing. You are so lucky. So make him wait. But if the person said, nah, like, I don't want to wait. Mm, excuse you, where are we going? No rush. Let him go sit somewhere. I'm just saying, if the person loves you, he waits. If the person really loves you, he waits. Well, maybe. It's so hard to find those days of men that really want to wait, but let him be passionate about God. Let him be a God-fearing person. Who is somebody God-fearing, you are lucky. I'm not talking about being a Christian. There's a difference between being a Christian, being a pastor, and being a God-fearing person. Let me tell you, if the person is God-fearing, if the person is God-fearing, you are so lucky. God-fearing, meaning, like, he fear God. Like, when he's trying to do something, he will just think about God first. And by thinking about God, he's thinking about you. And he will give you the love that he has for God, for you. That's a blessing. Just stick with that. But yeah, that's how my long distance relationship, the little tip I have about it. I don't know. I would try to do video about like going in depth and stuff like that. So I can empower or inspire somebody. But yeah, I need to get my husband into this video so he can tell you his side. Because, you know, it hasn't been easy for him either. It's just so many stuff uh like it's your state of mind like it's your mind you put into your mind like you know what like this is say i'm here like that's it no going back you know we need to make it work well i hope my tips were a little helpful um i really appreciate it i love you guys so much i appreciate the support the message the email the comment everything if you have other idea or something that you want me to talk about or you know some other tips that you think i should go into don't forget to um comment below or just send me a message or some question real quick and i'll be happy to do that love you guys till next time and stay blessed y'all